Hi everyone, my name is Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now I've put out a couple of videos with regard to the Volantex X-Pilot, which uh, in my first video back in October last year, uh, I didn't give it a very good review. Well, I wanted to test it with S-Bus. So let's have a look at the footage I did after I set this up with S-Bus and then I'll come back and discuss it with you. I'm at the field now. What I've done, as I said earlier, is I put the this stabilization system into this little plane and I'm using S bus. So let's give this a go and see what happens. Which way is the breeze? Okay. Coming that way, Margaret, yeah? Okay. Ooh. Yep. Okay, the plane is giving me real grief. Let's try. Flight mode stabilized. Yeah, no, it's working. Because this, it must be very windy up there because it was giving me serious grief. But that makes it, yeah, incredibly flyable. My goodness, I'm saying a good thing about this stabilization system. Yeah, that's definitely working. If I turn it off. Flight mode normal. Okay. Let me put it into a, put it into a silly position. See if it corrects itself. Whoa! Just crashed. Well, that wasn't too successful. I just flew into the building. It went into the building, tried to get out the window and chopped the wing off. But it's repairable. So, my conclusion on this stabilization system. It appeared to work, but as soon as I turned downwind, it just did something silly though it could have been my fault of course okay okay right now i'm out at the field again i'm going to give this a another try with this uh flight system uh let's uh, see what happens last time it ended in disaster so let's see what happens today we've got the flight stabilization system off let me just step over here Okay, the flight mode system is working. It's definitely stabilizing. Oh, because let's shut the throttle off. Yeah, it's definitely flying itself. It's keeping itself stabilized. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually working, it's doing the job. I'm having to put a lot of inputs in to get the plane to... Flight mode, normal. Let's turn it off. Yeah, obviously once I turn the system off, it becomes very much more responsive. And this isn't the easiest little plane to fly. Flight mode stabilized. Yeah, that definitely makes it. But you have to put in so much uh, control to get it to turn. So, yeah, you, yeah, you could you, you, you could use this, but. When it's the stabilization, maybe I have to change the gains, I'm not sure. But uh, it definitely, let's let me get it really high and then put it into a silly position and see if it gets it out of trouble. I'm gonna, Flight mode, I'm going up really climbing now. Yeah, and then going to, I'm going to get the thing in trouble. Let's see if I can. Put it into a... There you go, it's in trouble. 
Mode yep. it definitely gets it out of trouble uh, but it's uh, very difficult to you haven't got much control when you're on stabilization because uh, I say that could be the adjustments but it's definitely doing the job Four minutes. cut the throttle off okay she's diving whoa and crashed well there we go two crashes but anyway the little plane survived now my problem with this Volantex X pilot is that it unless I had a, um, a faulty unit it would not go into program mode I just could not get it to program properly eventually after about two or three hours it eventually decided it was going into program mode so that I could set it up now from the video you can see that when I turned it on, what I found is it, it uh, if I could say over controlled, I had to use so much deflection on the uh, elevator and the uh, uh, ailerons to try and get it to turn. And that's why in the second, on the second day is why I crashed because I was turning to uh, bring the aeroplane back and it just wasn't responding. Uh, now, whether that is this fault, but it, it definitely stabilized, but I think it sort of overdid it. It wouldn't allow me to control the plane, but that just could be my experience with this. So I still, uh, this is going to be my last video about this uh, particular stabilization system. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase it. I'd rather go through it. I've, the only other one I've tried is the ZOHD co-pilot, which uh, works fine, but is a lot more expensive. So I think I might try and get hold of some other stabilization systems and test them, but I seriously, seriously have problems with trying to get this to go into programming mode. But there we go. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.